There are unique opportunities to be conscious and awake in the flesh and connected with all of being that isn't in the flesh. Well, we could be addressing the, the part of being that's invisible this morning. One word for that is God. I think that's the word we usually use or is often used for the part of being that didn't, isn't in the flesh right now. There's a presence of being that isn't just in the flesh. There's a sense of it. And we can make up stories about it, and that's wonderful. Religious stories, myths, channelings of all kinds. All of which is an expression of the fact that we sense being that isn't physically present with us. And in fact, we can access it in ourselves. We can access levels of our own being that isn't defined by our personality or our upbringing. Like, where did that come from? It just kind of came through. It was a thought, it was a feeling that was bigger than me as a human being that isn't defined by my personality. There's this grand call in our lives to take our place, not just our place in the world, but our place in being, to identify with that, to belong to that, to know that we're belo we're, we belong to it, to know that we're loved by it and that we love it. When we know our place as a being, when we're being ourselves and we know we be belong to all of being, then it becomes so easy to come into a role in the human hierarchy, whatever it might be, and to play powerfully there. What does it mean when someone who knows who they are as a being incarnates in human form, awakens to who they are, and then plays a part in the world, shows up in the world, knowing who they are. They bring not only the usual toolkit of human expertise, they bring the power of being, the power of consciousness, the power of awakened consciousness into the world in which they live. By our very nature, we are bringing the power of the love that we are. And I think power is a good word for it. It's the power to change the world. That's what we're talking about. The only thing to worry about are the strange concepts we get in our heads about what that reality is. Not that reality, which is untouched. And opening to it, we are opening to the power and the presence of what the very nature of being is, what powers all of creation. Our word for it is love. It could be that in the end, the answer to all this horror of the world in which we live looks like one great celebration of awakening. Might it not? Some great happiness that just overcomes us as humanity when we realize who we are and who we're with and what we're doing here together. And we, want, we see the joy and the possibility and the glory of it all of this planet. This is being incarnate as human beings for something grand and glorious and celebratory. 